Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I'm a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train, or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloak room, cloak room anywhere. That's a tough word to say. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I... we should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I am not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning, then. I had been working late into the night. The Nameless Ritual. Okay, well, <laughs> it hasn't been spooky enough. Now we have a ritual to contend with. Great. Oh, no. And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels? Ooh. What was inflamed? <laughs> the kidney? No, liver. Uh, 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 alcoholism. Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me. Dr. Hayward? Yes, Mr. Lowell. Oh, it's me. Why are you talking to the janitor? Excuse me? Now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying... Um... Inflammation? So, like, gallstones? Yes, from this first glance we can infer that. He doesn't look like a doctor to me. More like a hoodlum. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. We don't want him to stick us up. Yes, he could rob us blind and disappear in the shadows. Oh, you jerks. I'll bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whatever criminal elements he is in cahoots with. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Some supplies have, in fact, gone missing lately. See? I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I have felt my will slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight, I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. Okay, Dr. Samuels. Those buffoons. Soon they will know what I am really capable of. I don't like this, Dr. Samuels. What's going on? Beyond the Veil by T. Newman. It is a lower magical process to make the Guardian of the Threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of a number of substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician, and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not, then, to cross this threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. An astral chart. The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, Planetary Correspondences by H. Solomon. This is the most complete treaty I have found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. What does that have to do with... Oh. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. I think I have it memorized now. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. The neighbors again. Always the same fighting and screaming. The fiery summons. Oh, oh, oh gosh. This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle shall devour Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald, and engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter, 
a black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. No, I don't. <laughs> Stop assuming these things. I almost forgot. Mr. Williams' morphine is in my pocket. Oh, it's getting louder. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking home supplies. But his tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. Alright then. What else is there? A mirror. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardianship manifests himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. Okay. My ritual dagger. I will need it later. The FM. These are the ingredients I require for the first part of the ritual. I need to burn the appropriate herb in each bowl. But before I get started, I should bring Mr. Williams his morphine. Sure. Let's do that. Wow, the neighbors are loud. Or these walls are thin. Uh, the Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days, it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. How can I hear them less outside my apartment than in there? I mean, yeah, I guess the walls are apparently that thin, except for the hallway. Hello? Good evening, Mrs. Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize. I got held up at the hospital today. How is he doing? Not good, doctor. Not good, doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. And that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I am so sorry, Mrs. Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Mrs. Williams. It is my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. He does not sound well. Uh, can I... These stairs lead up to... on the street. Onto the street. I have nothing to do out there. The ritual awaits. Oh dear. Do I really want to do that? Can't I just achieve good status through hard work instead of through magic? Okay. What do I do? Um, Alright, I can begin the final preparations now. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. No, let... I need to put the herbs in the bowls. I don't know which bowl. Shoot. The iron one. Whatever this is in the iron. I should have paid more attention. Okay, let's let's read the book again. I have memorized the passage that I need from this book. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The visions of Wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Saturn's blessing. Uh, Zikovas, the fiery summons. I have to, I have memorized the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle shall devour Mercury. Cassie, the symbol of Venus, onto flames of emerald. An engulfing crimson, all that belongs to Mars. A raging Asia inferno for Jupiter. A black gray for Saturn. Okay, I literally need to write this down. Um, let's see. Hold on. Okay, so. <laughs> the herbs. Yep, yep. Sun... Okay, now this thing. Sun, gold. Okay, sure, yes, that totally makes sense. <laughs> okay, now. Um, an iron bowl covered in red rust. Copper bowl from corrosion. A bowl of black lead. Okay, so I may have already messed up the first pattern. <laughs> no, okay. Heliotrope. And that needs to go in the gold one, right? There's already something in there. Okay. So I don't want this. No. No. Lead. I've already messed it up, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. Nope. 
um, wormwood right here, and wormwood is Mars. Mars needs to go in the crimson bowl. There is no crimson bowl. <laughs> Oh jeez, there's already something in there. Okay, emerald. Well, this is... I I wasn't meant to be a cultist at all, apparently. I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should consult my books again. Knowledge is nothing by itself without a strong mind to make use of it. Yeah, I know. Okay. Try this again. Heliotrope. For the sun. Something about gold. So... I mean... Okay, in here. In the iron bowl, apparently in the golden iron bowl. Yes. And then... Hyssop. Or mercury. Violet. No, that's not- no, this isn't right. Okay, let me just randomly put another- hold on. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then... Uh, hemlock for Saturn, I guess. So, hemlock. Lead bowl. Okay, no, something's not right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so the Iron Bowl, Red Rust. So iron is red. <laughs> okay, I'm smart. I can figure out this puzzle. Iron, red. Uh, lead is black. Okay. So I don't use. It sounds like I don't use all of the, all of the herbs. Copper Bowl is green. Okay, copper, green. All right, red. Will probably be crimson, which means Mars. I need to use wormwood. Wormwood in the iron, the iron red bowl. Now, the lead bowl is black, so I need Saturn hemlock. Ooh, this is spooky. And then copper, it's green in relation to emerald, which is Venus. For Venus, I need a rose. I just noticed this really creepy drawing besides the desk. The elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. Oh, one small cut in each spot shall suffice. So I need the Athem. It is time. Okay. The Wound Man? What does it tell me? The Wound Man. An ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun, oh goodness sakes, the sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury is the hand in darkness. Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals onto the into the sea. I will need this later. All right, let hold on. <laughs> Uh, get it, come get over here, please. Come on, no. Samuel, Doctor Jordan, no. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So. Shoot. <laughs> Iron, red, Mars, sword. Okay. Uh, he's holding it in his left hand. So cut the left hand. No, my hand is hesitating. This doesn't feel right. I must start again. Oh, right hand, because he's right-handed, right? Ooh, oof. okay. Uh, okay. Then I did... Um... Copper, green, emerald, Venus, Venus heart. The chest. Oh. Oh, I'm already... I, d I don't like this. Okay. And then finally, lead, black, Saturn, genital. Oh, gosh. I don't want to do this, but groin. Oh. It is time to enter the circle. It's not much of a circle. It looks like a triangle. Okay. Are you, what's going to happen? What are you doing? Why is this happening? No, no. What? What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. Ardentis fortuna juvat.
No. Oh no. Where am I? Is this really the other side? Looks like the upside down. And that, that must be the guardian at long last. I must remain calm and focused. I have prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. Yeah, I can, I can tell. <laughs> the moment has come. Oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way. I face thee without fear. What are you saying? Putrid, rotten, price, price taken, scorn, price. Failed, trap, flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Ooh. Uh huh. I seek knowledge. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek knowledge. Teach me thy lessons of wisdom, that my intellect might prevail. Memory, drowned, mind, oblivion, drowned, darkness, putrid water, voices, undertow. I, I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly, and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the Guardian. What am I meant to do now? Uh, why is the Guardian not here? I carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sake, all, burn, erase, price, tribute, purpose, flesh, by soul, not one, not only This makes no sense. None of the texts I read mention something like this. Who art thou then? Speak thy name. Once, Jordan, always doctored. What? Madness. I am Jordan Samuels. Me. Vile creature. Trickster. Where am I? What is this place? Present. Crossroad. Converge. Time. Oh, is this... No, this literally is the upside down of Stranger Things, isn't it? I can barely make sense of this gibberish. A crossroad? Is that what this place is? Some sort of limbo? I am wasting my time. I will not get any answers here. I need to try to make sense of all this. Oh, a lamp. I just saw it. Where? Where? It just gave me a prompt. <laughs> what? Oh, scrib- Oh, wait. Scribbles. Okay. <laughs> These look like notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched, blackened stump. All my acts of kindness undone. I do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has all been for nothing, but I cannot turn back now. God help me if he still remembers my name. Strange. Lamp, there it is. There was a passage in the book. Illum illumine the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will now no longer be available to thee. Yet the light seems to be keeping him alive. Taking it away might kill him. But the flame of knowledge has always been my guiding beacon. No matter how unpleasant its truths turn out to be. No matter the price. I must follow its paths to the end. I must do this. Oh jeez. I'm taking the lamp. Oh no. I shall not waver. I shall not fail. Do I go back into the mirror? Oh! Looks like there is no going back through here. But then what? So does this mean I did write this? Or no, some other me, the one who fails. I cannot think about this now. I must push onwards. Where do I go? 
Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> to the corridor. Oh, yeah. This is very, very comforting to see. Thanks. The Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. Uh, Mrs. Williams, is that you? Are you alright? Oh no, you monster. You killed him, you monster. Oh jeez, that's disturbing. Okay, I'm glad you closed that door. <laughs> I cannot let this get to me. It is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. An ulcer? Dear lord, is it alive? I don't want to know the answer to that. Let's just go. The stairs, they no longer go up to the street, but downwards. Sure. That's inviting. That's comforting. Let's go, let's go downstairs in this dark area. Oh no. What is it? I cannot see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. But it has to be this way. There is nowhere else to go. That lamp is really not comforting. <laughs> Ooh, a library. Or, no. I recognize those bookshelves. I've seen this place before. In my dreams, or in dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors, trying to find something. But I cannot remember what, or why. Anything here? Oh wait, up there. I can barely read any titles on this shelf. The books are caked in dried mud. Yeah, let's hope it's dried mud. I don't want to know if it's anything else. I'll I'll invent I'll invent my own horror, thank you. Something was up here. There. Who are you? God. Another creature. It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I am here or does it simply not care? Should I try making my presence known? Librarian. Here, my name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Art thou the keeper of this place? It is paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. There seems to be something else. Okay. They look like diaries and manuscripts. Alright. So we're just gonna wa oh, whispers. They seem to be coming from this corridor. Okay, so let's walk towards the whispers then. <laughs> the whispers are coming from this book. There is a note inside, and not any note. That note, that furiously scribbled threat, slipped into my mailbox one night. Always the stares, the murmurs uttered under their breath. Or the jeers and the scoffs, if they felt courageous enough. I never threw it away. What is it doing here? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. Do I have to? Can I just not leave? No, I've, I've already- the mirror's broken. There's no way I can go back. Dr. Samuels, you're in this for the long haul. Sorry. Actually, you made this choice yourself. You only have yourself to blame. It wants the book. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27, 1897. A memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. A memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. A memory of that darkie down the street. A memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. Hello, what do you make of this note? Oh, gosh. Oh. Did it just... What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding... Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was that dream. It looks so much like this place. And was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? Yeah, let's talk again. <laughs> it is paying me no attention whatsoever. It looks like it is trying to hear something else. Okay. I guess I'll just keep wandering around the darkness. <laughs> What's over here? Ooh, a baby. It is growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? This seems to be photo albums rather than books. 
There are some framed photographs lying around too. They all feature babies and young infants. It is coming from inside this photo album. This... This is my family. Grandparents. Father. Aunts. Mother. So this baby she is holding must be... Me. But I have never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. Probably wants to eat the book. Uh, if, it, if it means anything, I, I don't think you should hand over the book. Seems quite creepy. Hello. It wants the book. Yes, it does. Here you go. Yeah. I think it's eating the memories. What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding... Was I carrying something? Or perhaps it was that dream. It looks so much like this place. Oh, Samuels. Let's talk to him again, see what it needs now. Yeah, it's, it's listening for something again. Again. Now, I don't think I went down... I came from down here. Ooh. Music. That music is very close now. There must be a gramophone hidden somewhere. Yes. Oh, wait. Is it this... This whole section seems to contain only military... Okay, no, nothing there. There is no gramophone. The music is coming from... Inside this book? The sheet music for Fritz Kreisler's Liebslied. Of course it is. The day I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery. I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on a fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. It did seem back then like I was destined for great things. I never thought my quest for knowledge would come to such a screeching, frustrating halt. But I have the opportunity to fix that now. I have come so far. Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I will get some answers? It wants the book. Yeah, why not? Here. Here. Oh, gosh. Here. Take the darn thing. You must be hungry. Ooh. It sounds as if a battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. Oh gosh, you know by now what it is. Right here? It is coming from this book here. A map. Seychelles, France. September 1918. They called us the Harlem Hellfighters. We took that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. I should bring it back and see what it wants. Oh boy. Hello. It wants the book. Of course it does. Here, take the book. Enjoy. There's more? <laughs> what am I looking for now? What have I not explored? I mean, how am I going to know? It's just so dark. Over here. Is this anything? Ooh. Yes. Who is that? It sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. Right here. It is coming from this book. There is a letter inside. This envelope. This handwriting. I don't even need to open it. I am sorry, Eunice. You deserve so much more. But New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. So much was happening there. So many opportunities. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there is only one way to know, which is to shove it in its mouth. A letter of incessant crying. It sounds like a D&D &D item. <laughs> Here you go. Here's a letter. Of this person, this woman constantly sobbing, Eunice. Oh! <gasps> Was it Cthulhu? Was it a Cthulhu of some sort? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Where am I? How did I get here? 
I can't remember anything. Who... Who am I? Dear Lord, what happened here? A crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a battle take place here? Certainly looks like it. A soldier's corpse. Let's move away from this discomforting scene. Oh, and to another discomforting scene. Looks like a makeshift infirmary. I am somehow familiar with these kits. There is some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. Oh, a bloodied white sheet is covering a body. Bloody sheets in what seem to be corpses. This must be an improvised field hospital. And you are Reverend Williams. Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel Perilous. I've been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What did you call me? It's alright. I know what you've done. It's all gone now, your name. But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity into your hands, and acted with the certainty of a, thun of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But this soul of yours, this kindness, you need it for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The Guardian? Ah, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian. Like the texts say, I must become a perfect and glorious being, or fall a prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I came here seeking knowledge. Yes, and yet it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of the strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions. This has been a burden. Today, you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then. You didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Freedom, Dr. Samuels. Like you, freed me. And I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. I have no recollection of any of the things he mentioned. Yet it all somehow rings true. Yeah, he spoke quite a bit. A gauze bandage is covering his eyes. Oh. Good lord, his hands. Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... I am a doctor. 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 Not here. Left. He left. Not here. He has been blinded by shrapnel. Oh, shrapnel, excuse me. His hands have been blown off almost completely, and he is delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours, or days if he is unfortunate. He is holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. What is your name, soldier? Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back, help me sleep, but he left. He left. Oh boy. Medical supplies. Maybe I can get him something to get him to sleep. There might be something useful here. A jar with some opium pills. Eight, maybe ten? They must have been here for a very long time. Opium in tablet form is not a very is not very common anymore. Gosh, that's a tough sentence. <laughs> If that is the case, they have probably lost a great deal of their potency. I will need to use all of them if I want to... Why do I remember all of this? Is there any more supplies? There's nothing left. Okay. Can we give the opium to the soldier? I need to find some water. Nobody can swallow this many pills on a dry throat. Some water will help him swallow the pills, but I need a container of some sort. What am I looking for? This soldier. 
Well, if it isn't Dr. Samuel... No, well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I have been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my effing brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying that you will help me and you never look back, you bastard. I am sorry. I am so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? He remembers everything, over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy. But he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans sometimes. When he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his, there's a name echoing again and again. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like for me to do that? Again? Not a chance, doctor. Get me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. And what is your name? Name's Luke, Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. Oh, that's... Quite, quite terrible. Uh, soldier, you must be... What was the name? Half his jaw has been shot off. Oh, gosh. He is still alive somehow, but barely conscious. He will not be able to swallow these pills in his condition. He is also bleeding from his stomach. But this is not a gunshot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. I cannot even begin to imagine his agony. He is wearing an ammo belt. Hmm. Maybe there is some ammunition left in it. But I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him first. I am sorry. I have been told what I did, even though I, I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. So... I have to give him pills and water. This guy up here. I have to get the bullet from him to give to Luke, but I need to help this soldier. Somehow. What do I... What else is there? The plank has almost collapsed. I don't think it is safe to cross. Okay, so I can't cross then. I have pills for you, I just don't have a cup. What is a worthy container? No. No. The bell? Can I... <laughs> Can I push the font or- no. Banner. No. I- I genuinely don't see anything helpful. Ugh! <laughs> I need a hint. I don't- I don't get it. I'm missing something clearly, but it's not obvious to me what I'm missing is the problem. Oh wait, a canteen. Wow, it was so tiny. <laughs> An empty canteen. Yes. Good. Okay. This will have to do. Good. Okay. Here are some here's some opium and some water. Here, soldier, you can sleep now. Oh boy. I am sorry for having kept you here so long. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's depressing. Farewell. I hope the pain is finally over. Okay, the pillow. He will no longer need this. I'll bring it to this soldier, but what good will it do? It is time to go home, soldier. <gasps> oh, that's horrendous. Oh no. I can take these bullets now. Oh my gosh. That is depressing. Goodbye, Jim. Uh, here are your bullets. I, I think I know what you're gonna do with it. Wow. I found what you wanted. Well, I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought the day would come.
Now you might want to step back a bit. Oh gosh. Oh dear. How harrowing. I hope you found your peace at last. Okay, it is done. Time for confessional. I had all these soldiers die, basically. I helped them along. I am ready, reverend. The horrors of war. So much more than just the shooting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't... No, I... I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. But the only thing I feel is... Empty. Hollowed out. I am so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not. You've done well. How? What does that mean? It doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing, not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You have created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since, with every action, every decision. Every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But, fear not. You will understand soon enough. Now go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. No. The boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be so excited. Oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much. So much. But let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. Which is? Oh, no, no. Don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now, and you shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have... Given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. Uh... Dr. Haywood? Listen carefully. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. Okay, so... I have given my mind to the waters. Excellent. Peel back the first layer now. What do you mean? And listen. Listen carefully. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Repeat, Doctor. Okay. I have... Nope. I have... Consigned... My soul... To the... Flames. Good. Good. Now the second layer. Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead. Do it. Do it now. I don't like this episode. <laughs> now listen once more. I now... Surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, Doctor. Okay. I now surrender. Oops. My flesh. Yeah. Where? Where? <laughs> Where's the student? Oh, here it is. To the blade. Excellent. Excellent. Now, the retractor. Stretch the skin. Open the yawning gate. The hungry void awaits. Oh. I'm so glad this is 8-bit. I don't want to see this in... <laughs> now listen, one last time. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Oh. Repeat, doctor. Repeat. You and I offer 
my blood to the mirror. Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold, open the path to the guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Oh no. Where, where do I go from here? Exit. What is this? Ah, the hollow one at last. It feels like I have been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then, let us get this over with already. Exist no more, now. Yes, yes, at last. Is this everything we are, then? Invitation? Time to get out of here. Through the mirror, probably. Oh, Samuel. Or Jordan. I remember nothing after that. <gasps> Well, that's quite a story. The question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test? For me, for all of us. Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? <sighs> Please excuse me if you will. So, as I was saying, say, is it getting hot here? It does feel like it. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is the train to hell, is it? The train to death. What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten, by their own hand even. But we can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what do you mean by that? By what? By their own hand even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me. You heard. No. There's something else here. Don't. Don't tell me you've invited them personally. Please. Don't tell any- You gave them masks. You sent invitations. You collected them. I- You can't do this. They were meant for or below. You know how strict the numbers are. Are you insane? They- These ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. Oh, I'm angry. I know. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right. All right. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even. Maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. Hmm. Please. I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. That was spooky and creepy, and I'm so glad that it was in uh, pixel art because some of the really graphic stuff I did not want to... I, I have a much worse vision of it in mind <laughs> than what I saw, but that was really fun. I really enjoyed it. 
Very good stories. Stories, plural. A death blow is a life blow to some. Who till they died did not alive become. Who had they lived had died but when they died vitality begun. By Emily Dickinson. Well, that was a game. <laughs> that was certainly a game. I had a lot of fun with the stories. Some of the puzzle elements were a bit annoying. Um, I don't know, it, it didn't... It didn't handhold you to some of the puzzle elements, which I appreciated, but I kind of wish there was a bit more clues. Having said that, it was really enjoyable. Oh, and I guess those are the masks. Which one, I wonder, is Layla? She looked like the death mask. That was very fun, and I hope you found it interesting as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.